All right, we'll look at another example of how to factor a uh, trinomial with leading coefficient not one. And uh, the method we're going to try to use is to factor by grouping. So we're going to take this three-term polynomial and try to make it into a four-term polynomial. But before I do any other type of formal factoring, I was going to try to factor out our common factor. Here, this term and this term have an x, but this does not. Those two have a y, but that one does not. And there is no common factor between 2, 7, and 3, so I can't really do anything there. Well, again, the process of getting this trinomial to be a four-term polynomial is to multiply this times this. Okay, and I'll put the product over there. And then we want them to add to give me this little bad boy. All right, so let's see if we can't come up with our numbers. This will give me 6x squared y squared. I'm going to think what two numbers will multiply to give me that and they have to add to give me negative 7xy. And we're looking for sum or difference. All right, uh, as you can see, this one is a little bit different because uh, before we just had an x squared, now we have an x squared and a y squared. But we're gonna use the exact same steps, it's just the variables will be a little bit different. All right, so let's see. Uh, from here, what we're gonna do is we'll figure out uh, what two numbers will multiply to give me a positive 6x squared y squared. Because this is positive right here, we know that uh, we are actually looking for the sum of our two factors. All right, so we'll say uh, we can multiply together. Now, here's the thing. Here's the other thing. I've got x squared, y squared. Well, my two factors, if I were to put, say, 1x squared and uh, 6y squared, that would actually not work. And the reason it wouldn't work is, yes, these two things would multiply to give me this, but I could not add them together to get this. To be able to add these two factors together to get this right here, they have to be like terms. So I can't use those two. So uh, a lot of times when we are factoring, this term right here will actually look like both of the factors. So 1xy and 6xy, and I could also use 2xy and 3xy. So again, these two things have to be like terms to be able to add to give me this. So this helps us out to determine what those two things will look like. Now, the product is positive, but when I add them together, I get a negative. Well, to get a product that's positive, both of the factors have to be the same two signs. They could either both be positive or they could both be negative. Well, since they add to get a negative, they both have to be negative. And the two factors that have a sum of negative 7 will be negative 6xy and negative uh, xy, or negative 1xy. So these are the two that we're going to use to replace our middle term. So we'll say negative xy and minus 6xy. Again, the order doesn't matter. The other two will remain unchanged. And we've done the hard part, which is to turn our trinomial into a four-term polynomial. Now we're going to factor by grouping. Out of this, we're going to factor out our common factor of x. Divide this by x and you get 2x. Divide this by x and you get negative y. Again, I want to factor something out of this to make it look identical to this. Uh, negative 6 divided by what will give me a negative 2? That would be a, or a positive 2 would be a negative 3. And then if I have negative 6xy and I want 2x, I obviously need to divide that by y. So that should give me 2x here and then minus y here. I've got one more step, and that's to factor out my common factor of 2x minus y, and then times x minus 3y. All right, so that's the factored form for that polynomial. I know that because it's a binomial times a binomial. This times this will give me this. This times this is this. This times this is this. This times this is this. Those two will add together to give me that.